like to get everything sanded. Um, so it's been all cleaned. Um, everything is cleaned and wiped down with just hot, uh, hot water with dish soap. And then I, I like to put some lemon in there, um, some essential oil. Uh, I did remove the little plastic pieces from all the drawers. However, there's uh, some little nails that are still left. Uh, you can kind of see they pop out. There's some little nails left there um, that I will have to just pound out. But I would like to get the doors and everything sanded. So in order to do that, I've got 120 grit sandpaper. Um, and today we're gonna practice what we preach. We're gonna use our safety gear. Um, I tend to get headaches if I don't, so today we're gonna do it the right way, all right? Let's go. So after all of that, getting all those uh, dowel rods glued in place and cut, uh, I just really didn't like the way that it looked. Uh, I thought the handle, adding the handle on might save it, but ultimately I just, it wasn't something that I was really, that I really liked. So I decided to remove the dowels. Uh, unfortunately, this was after about 24 hours after the glue dried. So I did have to pry them off using a crowbar and a screwdriver. Um, but they came off pretty easily, and after um, some sanding and using my carbide scraper, the uh, the dowels did come off. Instead, I decided to come up with a different design using quarter inch by one and a half inch wooden slats. Uh, but first, I had to fill the little nail holes left behind by the nails that were uh, stuck in the little pieces of plastic that were on the drawers when I bought them. So here I'm just filling those holes. For this next step, using my brad nailer and some wood glue, I'm going to attach the wood slats that I cut. Um, and so I was really, really careful during this step to make sure all the wooden slats were the same size for the same size drawers and that they were centered both vertically and horizontally. And now time to paint.
but they came, I guess, as promised. They're just wooden legs. There's no um, way to attach them to the dresser that I want. Um, so I had to buy this these bracket kits um, as well. Uh, and I'll link everything down below if, if you're interested in these products. But this means that I've got to figure out a way to get these legs prepared to mount to my dresser. Um, so this piece actually goes on the dresser, on the underside of the dresser, but I wanna make sure that when I put the screw into the leg, it's I don't wanna leave like an inch of room because it's not gonna be able to go up that far. So um, for example, I'm just gonna pretend that this is the dresser. So if it's sitting on like this on the dresser, it's only got a little tiny bit of space to screw in before it's gonna hit that wood. Um, so it's gonna have to, this piece is gonna have to go into the leg uh, a pretty substantial distance. So I wanna make sure that one, I'm centered on the, on the leg. I'm just gonna draw an X. Mind my rudimentary tools, please. X marks. Oops. X marks the spot. So that's where I'm going to drill. Um, and then this little piece is actually going to go inside the the leg here and so then this will get screwed down in there about that far so this is going to be the top of the leg it'll screw in about this far and that way this little protrusion here will just get screwed onto the dresser once we're all said and done and then this kit also comes with the little screws to mount this bracket to the bottom of the dresser, but that will come later. But I have these furniture bottoms, furniture pads um, to put at the bottom. And that's just to help so that whoever ultimately gets this piece, their floor doesn't get scratched when they're moving around their furniture. So I also add that to the bottom of my, um, bottom of my leg. I've got the brackets. Um, along with the legs that go into those brackets. Um, but what I found was the bottom of the dresser isn't reinforced. So if I wanted to put the bracket there, uh, there's just not a lot of wood for me to attach that to. So what I did was I cut out a two by four and there's just a couple of notches on the underside here that I did didn't want to mess with so I notched out the two by four in the same uh, same spots so that it'll fit snug in there like that and then once I get that attached I can add the bracket to the bottom of the dresser so I'm gonna go ahead and do that <laughs>